welcome to the vlog today is Monday back to normal life going down driving to work and all that I last week if you watched last week's vlog we went to the lake for a few days and I always I miss it the minute we're not there so one of these days I hope to have a place down at the lake to retire to and it's the dream We'll see if it ever comes true. But anyway, it's Monday, so normal stuff. Get my coffee, my fruit, get in my backpack. Well, most everything's in there, like my laptop and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to quit rambling so I can finish getting <laughs> all my stuff together and get headed out this door and getting the day started and hoping for a good one. Hello, and now it's Tuesday. It's a very singy bird outside, so I'm going to enjoy listening to his little music while I make my coffee and stuff. So, it's Tuesday! Yep, it's Wednesday, <laughs> and I don't think I had any talking or anything in between each day. It's just been, you know, nothing really worth sharing, I don't think. So. Today, they're doing Mental Health Awareness Day, and so they're encouraging everybody to wear green. And so, I like light green. I didn't really have anything green green, but I thought light green works. So, it's not even like where I am. I don't really have a whole lot of coworkers that I see. Um, there's just a, like three that's in the room I'm in. All guys, I don't know if they'll, you know, wear green. Maybe one will because I heard him mention it. Um, but anyway, yeah, just ramble, ramble. Anyway, just get my stuff together. Same thing I <laughs> said Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have something more interesting coming up. So we'll see. <laughs> so I was going to tell you guys this like little thigh exerciser that I got from Timu that I brought to work to like use just you know throughout the day it really works I mean my legs I can feel it in my legs like when I'm using this thing so that was a good purchase purchase <laughs> so you just like put it between like your thighs and you just squeeze and then I start to feel it like in my upper thighs and stuff I Normally I scooch up a little further in my chair, but I like this. I'm glad I got it. So it's Thursday, and I'm working from home today. I just wanted to show you guys the little video that I'm watching on YouTube throughout the day. It's like a little lakeside. Let me see what the channel is. It is the Alley of Ambiance. showed you guys before I like to like pull up these like kind of little relaxing ones and like Christmas I pull up Christmas or Halloween I've got like haunted houses and you know just different things like that but just it's Thursday working from home I also wanted to show you guys this mouse pad or maybe it's a moo pad but I got this from Timu. Isn't it the cutest little mouse pad? The the little nose area is like the wrist rest. I just love it. It makes me happy. I love this stuff like this. So yeah, just normal stuff. I did have a meeting today I was kind of nervous about because I have a new boss. Again. I think this is my fifth new boss since 2016 or 2017 <laughs> and the last one I had he just made it a year before they moved him to another area so now I got a new one but anyway I had to do a presentation on like regulations and stuff like that so I those always make me so nervous as many years as I've worked for the bank I just that all just I still I don't like presenting. Luckily nowadays it's not the kind where you have to like get up in front of a bunch of people. It's on the phone because 
you know, I remember those days too. I used to have to do a lot of that, especially when I was a manager. So that just got done. So now I feel like I can breathe a little bit, get ready to make a cup of tea, maybe have a banana and uh, just finish working out for the rest of the day and then go to the gym later. It's raining off and on today, which is good because we need rain. And so, yeah, that's all I can think of for right now. Okay, I just, I gotta show you guys. I ordered a pair of these for me and a pair for my daughter. She's the one who recommended them, sent me a link to them on Van's website, and they just got delivered. So I wanted to show what our new shoes look like. They're so cool. I already have taken one out and tried it on to make sure it fit. So there are these Vans. And that's one side. Top. There's this side. Of course, I don't skateboard. She has a skateboard. I don't know how much she skates, but I just like these so much. They're so cool. This is the transgender flag on this side. And then that's the rainbow flag on this side. They're just such a cool pair of shoes. I have the Converse Pride, or they do Pride shoes, I think, pretty much every year, but I just have one pair of the Converse Pride that I've had for several years. Um, but anyway, I just thought these were so cool. I love how they represent, like, just inclusivity. And, so yeah. We both are going to have a pair. We're going to be matching mother-daughter. Too bad she's moving all the way to Seattle. Oh, that's a pillow. It sits in my office chair when I'm not sitting in it. Um, I think I showed this to you guys a long time ago, probably. It looks like a stack of magazines. A stack of creep show magazines. But I sit it over here when I'm in my desk chair, so... Cool. And there's Mr. Nosy Butt. Hey, Jenko. Are you a nosy boy? So when we were at the lake this last weekend, Kim had sent me a picture of those shoes and we're like, oh, look at these, Mom. Aren't these really cool? And I was like, yeah, those are I those are really neat. And I think she was kind of hinting around, you know. And so I was like, well, what size shoe do you wear? You know, let me know and I'll order us both a pair. So she let me know her shoe size. And she's coming for a visit tomorrow, so I'll be able to give her her shoes then. Hope they fit. <clears throat> They're the same size as um, the Vans they have now. So that's like her preferred shoe is Vans. So... You know me, I've got, my preferred shoe is if it fits on my foot. <laughs> I, have, I like shoes. So, but anyway, uh, those just got delivered. I'm 30 minutes away from being off work. I'm almost done with what I'm doing right now. So, it's really awesome working from home Thursdays and Fridays because now when I get off work at 3, I'm done. I don't have to get in my car and be on a 45 minute drive on the way home. So I'm enjoying it. I like that I have this option. I, I'm very much appreciative of it because I know not everybody has that option. So I definitely appreciate it. <laughs> Hello there. So today is Friday and I'm working from home. I'm also doing my laundry. And then later, our oldest is coming for a visit. Um, we live in Missouri, they live in Kansas, and, but they work in Missouri, so sometimes after they get off work, they come visit, so that's awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And then also, Brian and I are planning on going to the grocery store tonight, so we'll see how that goes. It's supposed to start thunderstorming, and um, 
Brian also wants to get some stuff done with the sea -Doo when he gets off work. So we'll see how everything goes, but that's the plan as for now. So now I'm just gonna keep working. Hello there, so today is Saturday and we did not make it to the grocery store yesterday because Kim just stayed for a while and we ended up watching BattleBots, getting Panda Express for dinner and just, you know, we didn't care about the grocery store. So this morning, it's like eight right now, I'm getting ready to go to Walmart and do the grocery store run and Brian is at the laundromat because we're getting the sea dew dewinterized and so the cover you can just take to like an industrial size washer washing machine and wash it and then just hang it to dry we we drape it over um, patio furniture but um, so anyway he's at the laundromat getting that thing washed and I'm gonna do the grocery run and then we're hoping later today maybe get it out on the lake we'll just see we're gonna um, clean it and then usually like last year what we did was we went to the lake he dropped me off and I went on a, a solo ride for a while and then he takes the trailer to the car wash to wash the trailer up and get it all nice and clean and spick and span so and um, he does a little bit of other maintenance on the trailer so but today I'm wearing two Timu items and so I'm wearing my t-shirt with the little t-rex and his t and then i'm also wearing let me flip the camera around because i'm wearing one of the pairs of shoes i got and they're really comfortable right now so we'll see i'm walking all the way around walmart be a good test of these so let me show you the shoes these are the shoes i'm talking about i probably should have worn white socks but i don't care i'm not going to go change my socks but those are my Timu shoes. These are really comfy. Nice and squishy. They fit really good. So I'm gonna go put them to the test. Is that in some duck food? Hey guys, so it's Sunday. My hair looks a little crazy right now because I haven't taken it down yet. But one of you guys mentioned on, well, may not even be anybody that watches my vlogs, but on one of the Timu hauls, I had gotten this bun maker. I don't know if you could see, but so I like this little bun. But anyway, um, one of you guys had mentioned to put it in your hair, like when it's just slightly damp after your shower and sleep in it. So I'm gonna see what it looks like when I take this bun maker out. But um, today is Mother's Day and my daughter, she's coming and we're gonna, she only has a couple of hours, but from I think 10 to 12, we're gonna just go shop at, shop, you know, I think, I don't know if she has like an idea of where she wants to go, but I'm just excited because if you guys, the ones of you that have been around for a while know that my kids really don't do anything for Mother's Day and it kind of hurts my feelings. Not kind of, it does. So yesterday was awesome because Brian, me, Brian, and Daniel, we went to the lake and I didn't film, a, 
hardly any of it because I kept not having my phone with me either you know when I was on the sea doo or like I would leave it on the sea doo it's like I just kept having like back and forth not having my phone at the right time so I got just a little bit of a clip with, of Brian but we had a really great day and then we went to Panera and so yesterday was great with the three of us and then Kim is coming today and then so she and I'll spend some time together so I got to spend time with both of my kids and that's all I want you know and uh, so yesterday I told you about those or I showed you the Timu shoes I wore and they were comfortable super comfortable I liked them a lot today I'm wearing this shirt that I got that's the it's fine you know everything's fine and uh, and I have my vans on that I showed you the other day that I got for myself and for Kim so anyway I'm gonna go I still am drinking my coffee so I'm waiting to finish my coffee and then I'm gonna go brush my teeth take this bun out of my hair see what it did and uh, this it was really easy too I was doing the bun maker wrong I was like rolling my hair up and you have to do it down but so anyway that's what I'm gonna be up to today and then I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day um, probably just take it easy and but yeah I'm having a good weekend okay so it did make really pretty curls I'm just gonna Brian's talking to me from in the kitchen since we took the sea dew out it's not in the little seaport that we have outside Brian parks it in the garage it like gets special treatment in season and it's just weird looking out there and it's not out there but yeah so I'm not gonna spray it or I don't use hairspray but see how the curls hold up and then I think tonight I might try it dry but can you see it just makes like pretty waves so yeah that was easy um, but like I said I'm gonna try well I guess I could get a spray bottle and just spray it a little damp and then try it try it out but just nice soft waves and then Brian he's making us some eggs well he's making eggs sausage and toast but um, Daniel and I don't want the sausage I might have a little bit of toast and eggs and so but yeah I'm I'm having a good weekend I know I said that already but I'm just happy that my kids are acknowledging Mother's Day <laughs> just I feel good <laughs> hey guys so it's still Sunday you might have guessed that <laughs> and I'm headed to Dollar Tree um, Kim and I had a really nice, like, mother-daughter little shopping trip. It worked out good for her because <laughs> mom ended up buying her stuff. She doesn't have a lot of money. You know, she pretty much lives paycheck to paycheck. And, uh, you know how we moms, you know, got to help our kids out. And so we went to Marshall's and Kohl's. And so I bought her Marshall's was awesome with because she likes graphic tees like t-shirts and found several different ones that I got her there and then Kohl's she needed some new jeans and so I got her three pairs of jeans but then um, she got me a really sweet card but anyway we're sitting around after we got home and we're talking a little bit and so Brian and so I've told you Kim's moving to Seattle um, probably late June or early July and basically um, Brian just needed to know like around about the dates and Kim was basically well dad I just need to know like what works for you and I'll work around you because um, it's 28 hours to get from where we live to Seattle and we just really 
we're not, I mean, she's 27 years old. She's a grown up, but we just weren't, we were, we were very worried about her driving all that by herself. And so Brian had offered, you know, he can ride with Kim. They can take the trip together, stop, you know, stretch it out over like three days and stay a couple nights at a hotel. And then Brian, once they get there, he'll just sleep on the couch, you know, um, there and then fly home. And then I'll just pick him up at the airport. So Kim decided, yes, she would love to have dad. So then she doesn't have to worry, you know, she'll feel safer because she's got dad with her. And it'll be really great for bonding and they are gonna plan a couple of times you know like they want to stop in Denver for a little while and you know just different places along the way and just make it a nice trip together but them sitting there talking about dates and all that stuff is just uh, I'm trying not to it's making me like realize Seattle's a long way away so but anyway I had a really nice time but now I'm sad, so <laughs> I'm happy and sad. I, you, you guys that are parents, you know exactly what I'm, how I, what I mean, you know. So now she just lives 45 minutes away, you know. So she can stop by every Friday if she wants to. She stops by, you know, two, three times a month. But so now I'm taking myself to Dollar Tree. <laughs> My you know, just to kind of cheer myself up. I'm not totally sad because I had a really nice time and I've had a really good weekend. But I also need to, um, I'm going to look for like a, a birthday bag because Brian's birthday's on May 27th. And I'm just picking, an, uh, picking things up for him here and there. And I just want to get a bag to put everything in. So I figured I'd come to Dollar Tree kill two birds with one stone, get a bag, and cheer myself up. <laughs> so, I will worry less about her when she's in Seattle. I won't get to see her as much, but she'll, I think she'll be safer there, you know, with the world and the state it's in. A lot less hate there, so. But anyway, Dollar Tree time. Okay, I'm done at Dollar Tree, and I was going to do like a quick little car haul, <laughs> but it's pretty crowded out today, so I'm just going to show you what I got when I get home. But, so, when I was in Dollar Tree, I was thinking to myself how fortunate I am to be able to shop at the Dollar Tree because I want to, not because I have to. You know what I mean? Um, I really wish they would have had a Dollar Tree. Like, when I was first living on my own in my first apartment. So, I was dating Brian. I was 17 when I graduated high school. And my parents, my whole family, was moving to New Hampshire. And I didn't want to go. I wanted to, be, I wanted to stay with Brian. And it worked out because... June 12th will be our 36th year together. Our first date was June 12th. Our wedding anniversary is in July, but, um, and we'll be married 29 years. But I pretty much, you know, I had to move out because I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to go to New Hampshire. And so I was living on a bare minimum salary. I mean, back then, I was making four twenty-five an hour, and that's what I was living on. Obviously, today, you know, the equivalent would be more than that. But still, I didn't ever use a dishwasher because, you know, I didn't know how much electricity or water it took. I didn't use my air conditioner. I mean, I just was doing everything I could to live, basically. I just had a mattress. I had, you know, just hand-me-down furniture. Um, Brian's mom was very helpful. She let me do my laundry at their house, you know, because Brian and I never lived together when we were dating. We didn't move in together until after we got married. But I had my own apartment, so... But 
a place like Dollar Tree would have been amazing. Um, we had Dollar General, but like I pretty much lived on ramen noodles because I remember they had a store called Osco. It was a drug store. And I th it's either CVS or Walgreens now, like the locations. And I remember they would get like ramen, seven for a dollar. I lived on that stuff. Um, you know, just cheap stuff. I remember Aldi, you know, you get a can of vegetables for a quarter. And that's like what I would have for dinner and stuff like that. And when I go to Dollar Tree, I always get reminded you know, because you you can you see people in there that that's like their major like shopping and stuff like that. And you know, I just hope that time gets better for them and everything. And I what made me think about it the most was when I went to get out in my to get in my car, and the car next to me was just you know a really old beater. They had the windows rolled down because it didn't have air conditioning and I noticed on the inside at least on the driver door I couldn't see the passenger door but the inside of the door was even missing you could see like the mechanics inside the door and you know my first car it was a 1976 Chevy Nova and you could see the pavement through the floor on the driver's side of the car so like I got a rug just to cover the where it had rusted out because I could see the pavement, you know, when I was driving. And I, it just reminded me of how fortunate and grateful I am, you know, to have worked my way up in my job. Brian, you know, we, we both are successful in our jobs. We're not rich, but we, we're doing okay, you know? So, I was just reminded of that. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm in the house now. Brian's doing some yard work. You may end up seeing him end up coming in. I'm not sure. But let me show you what I got. First, I'm going to show you I got something frozen. So, I want to get it in the freezer. But I got some dumplings. These are like... My Dollar Tree doesn't have a like a Dollar Tree Plus section, but over like in the freezer section, the very bottom row is a $3 section, so they're $3. But these little dumplings, and so I got two, bo two boxes because I love these things. And I got that dumpling, hold on a second. I got that dumpling plate. I got this from Timu, and I just got one because I'm the only one who eats them. But so you put the dumplings here and they always, they come with like a little sauce packet. And so I have like the little spot for my sauce here, but let me throw these in the freezer real quick. wasn't as quick as I thought it was gonna be then I got so I you know how I like lost weight and all that kind of stuff but I still allow myself cheat days and stuff so I got some a couple of things for upcoming cheat days but I got the last box of these fudge mint cookies these taste exactly like Girl Scout cookies um, I like to freeze them so I got those, and then I got these, and I've never had these before, but they're the fudge-covered cookies that have peanut butter. So, and I got these. And I'll tell you, these, I usually will eat the whole sleeve. So these will last me two times. Probably that, too. So, I just have to make sure that I, you know, just have, like, a cheat day and not a cheat week. So, but then I got this. I'll have to show you my little, um, I have like a little part of the yard that's in the back. I think I've showed it to you guys before that, that I put those little cheap tulips that I got from Dollar Tree. It's just like, a, I call it my little happy garden because <laughs> there's no plants. It's just stuff like this. But um, before I close out the vlog, I'll try to remember to 
go back there, but I got this and both of the pieces spin. I just really liked it. I just got one. And then what I actually went there for, I got a gift bag. And then I also got this, it's like tissue paper, but not exactly tissue paper because it's all glittery. And you only get four pieces for a dollar and a quarter, but I don't, I just thought it was really pretty. That blue too, but I thought red looked better with the bag. So I got that. Oh, Django, I got you something. Got a birthday card. Yeah, Brian and I will get birthday cards there. Um, if we can find one we like the, you know, the wording of and everything. Because we don't care how much we spend. And, you know, cards get really expensive now. So, then I found this book called How Could She? And it's supposed to be funny and realistic. But basically, like a girl breaks up with her fiance, she lives in Toronto, and then a couple of her friends moved to New York, and so she follows them to New York, and it's supposed to just be funny female friendship, maybe like a quick read, I'm not sure, so, but I picked that up, because I don't need another book, but I love books, so I got it. Then I got this, this is my favorite cereal this Raisin Bran Crunch. And Walmart used to sell the, the little containers like this, but my Walmart stopped selling them. They only had two, so I don't know, so I got both of them. And then I just used almond milk in these. But I, I like to buy them like this. I know it's more expensive to buy them like this instead of the big box, but I'm just the kind of person that portion control, if it's something like this, it works well for me. If I have a whole box, I'm tempted to make a big bowl and sometimes even put more cereal if there's milk in there. So these work for me and it's just whatever works, you know? And then I've heard of this brand, I'm Ioni, and mostly I hear about them because people that wear false lashes, which I don't wear but they always talk about how good they work and stuff. So I figured I would, and that like their lash glue and stuff like that's supposed to work really good. So I figured I would try a few of their things for a dollar and a quarter. So they had this volumizing mascara, just a black mascara. So when I run out of the current mascara I'm using, which is right now Lash Paradise, but usually I buy the Essence, the one that's $2.99 that's called like Lash Princess or something like that. Um, but anyway, I got this one, and then they had another one that's called Dramatic Black Mascara. This one's called, this one's Volumizing Black, and this one's Dramatic Black. So I figured I'd give them a try. This one, they only had two left, so I, I got one, so maybe this is a good one. I mean, if you go by how many were gone. And then, just, just three more things. I got an eyeliner. This one is, does it say the color? I mean, it's green. It's like a green color. I figured it would be pretty, like with brown eyeshadow. Like if I wear something green, which I don't even know if I have anything green. I have one, I know I have a green, one green shirt at least. Anyway, I got the green. That's all they had was the green and I got the purple. And I definitely wear purple, but so I figured I'd try those out. And then lastly, I got something for Django. It's just this big old shiny like crinkle ball. So I got that for him. So anyway, I'll give that to him and let me show you my little, my little happy garden real quick. <laughs> you want to see what this is? He's just, burnt that towel's laying down because Brian keeps getting mud on his shoes. You want to see? You couldn't care less, huh? So 
this is just my little happy garden. Oh look! Put that out. It's spinning really good. So all these little, the little tulips, I got those at Dollar Tree. They spin pretty good. I also got the Sunflower Lights from Dollar Tree. And actually, these ones I got from Dollar Tree, they're on their third year. I mean, they, they look a little messed up, you know, because they faded, but they still light up nice and bright. That ball, Brian's mom got us years ago. And then I have this, he's a windsock. And I actually got that at the Lake of the Ozarks at a place called Dog Patch, which is like kind of like a, I don't know, like a gift shop and souvenir place. It's really pretty. They had it hanging up outside when I saw it. sitting right where I left it. <laughs> Hopefully he'll end up playing with it, but we'll see. I thought it was neat. Well, I guess I will wrap the vlog up for the week because it is now a little after four and pretty much all that's going to be left of the day, you know, is making dinner, which I think we're just going to have a frozen pizza, and shower, pick out my clothes for tomorrow just nothing interesting at all so I'll go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week and thank you so much for spending the week with me and I hope you come back next week <laughs> bye